Today, we're at the Kenmore Marina to meet Chase O'Malley, a prospective Eagle Scout, and Kristen Weed from Kent Island Beach Cleanups to talk about a special project that's helping to clean up the bay. Well, we're here in Kenmore today uh, to hopefully talk about my Eagle Scout project. I'm assembling and installing this device called a C-bin, um, and it's a trash skimming device, and it sits just below the water line. Uh, and what it does is it cleans the water of pollution, micro microplastics, um, and also oil and chemical contaminants as well. Hopefully it'll help to clean up the ecosystem in, the, in Kentmore uh, and in the surrounding bay as well. So we were really excited when Chase contacted us and it really all kind of came together when he contacted Shore Rivers, uh, Jeff Horseman. And Jeff, thank you Jeff, uh, he actually suggested that Chase contact our group and work with us and we were thrilled as, um, immediately when we heard from him. And he was being modest, but please <laughs> tell us how cool it is to have this here. It, I, I know, I can't tell Chase enough how excited I am. I mean, this is something that we could have, we could only have wished for years ago when we first got started. So um, I just think it's an amazing project and I would love to see these all over Ken Island and Queen Anne's County and really all up and down the Chesapeake Bay. Like all Eagle Scout projects, you know, it's somewhat of an, of an endeavor, right? There's a lot of planning that went into this project. Uh, hundreds of emails, 50 plus calls, you know. Uh, the financials are pretty complicated. It's been almost a year now of work to get to this point um, and to get closer to finishing up my Eagle Scout project. It's gone pretty pretty good. And let's not skip out on telling people all the hard work you did. How much did you have to raise for this? Right, so uh, the total we actually raised for the project was um, I think a little more than $12,000 total uh, in raised funds. And um, that was just from the donations of all the generous people around Ken Island, uh, private donations. and. Uh, Kentmore, and uh, it was really something special to see the community come around and get behind the project. Yeah, I know you're doing the data of things that come out. What are some of the things that you're seeing, or what are you seeing the most of? So about once a month or twice a month, uh, Ken Island Beach Cleanups will come out and do a tally of the data uh, from the CBIM. And we've only done it twice now, but we find a lot of styrofoam. So thanks to the state of Maryland for banning styrofoam. But uh, we find cigarette butts, unfortunately, straws. We found a plastic water bottle. Um, and then also, too, like Chase had mentioned, we will actually see in the, um, it's a grease pad. So you can actually see the oil and the chemicals in that pad. Yeah, so you're doing a lot of good work with this. Is there future plans? So this, this is just kind of the start of hopefully what I'd, I'd hope to see uh, is kind of a larger thing in Maryland, right? This is the, uh, I believe, the third sea bin in the United States and the second on the East Coast. Um, and so, you know, my plans for the future is I hope that this project can kind of uh, show that, you know, any individual with the help of their community can really, you know, achieve something to help clean the bay. Um, and hopefully we'll see more projects like this, if not for myself, from other people. Chase right now has a fundraiser going on on GoFundMe, and we're asking for donations. Anything counts uh, so that we can at least get one more sea bin placed somewhere locally here on Kent Island, whether it be here or possibly at the Kent Narrows. Well, I tell you, after seeing what you've done and knowing what you have in your future, I'm pretty sure they're going to create another level of scout just for you one day. 